and happiness. <laughs> Hello again and welcome to Farm Channel, your number one social marketing communication platform, 100% dedicated to agriculture, food and rural development in Ghana. Abaye Ashebo ese obebwa ama fisheries e na aquaculture sector no eti miye tumpong. Mese inti no omampenyi e de hon sema tujwa, wade ebo shere no atujwa. Yanko tiye ensemwa omampenyi aka e de afa fisheries e na aquaculture sector no. Mr. President. You may now deliver your message. Accelerating agricultural modernization for job creation. Mr. Speaker, all of our accelerated development efforts have been geared towards giving special advantage to pushing forward agriculture and aquaculture development through modernization. The process of modernization involving the use of improved seeds, varieties, greater access to tractor services, and training of peasant and smallholder farmers on productivity enhancements has resulted in dramatic increases in maize, rice, and cassava production over the last four years. These will be expanded with an additional injection of 2,000 tractors, improved seed support and fertilizer subsidies, especially for the poorest farmers. A more coherent focus on fisheries and aquaculture development has been initiated, with the designation of a new Ministry for Fisheries and Aquaculture Development and the imminent establishment of a College of Fisheries planned for Anomabo as a department of the University of Cape Coast. Fisheries will be given a boost. In this episode, we feed you with the latest happenings in the agri sector and educate you on fish hatching. Me chese ene yenju me dienu ye chese ni ye sinye in A fish hatchery is a place for artificial breeding, hatching, and rearing through the early stages of a fish. Farm Channel educates you on how hatching is being done after the construction of a fish pond. Yanko Ashaman Aquaculture Demonstration Center, Neko Hesani Sinye in Sumunam. Welcome to the Ashaman Aquaculture Demonstration Center. Our major activity on this farm is currently fingerling production because fingerlings are very scarce and that is causing many people not to adopt fish farming. So we try to produce fingerlings, all male tilapia fingerlings on this farm and sell them to farmers at moderate price because we want to encourage fish farming as much as possible. With the fingerling production, we have about five steps involved. We normally stock them in concrete ponds or in harpers because we want to collect eggs and hatch them ourselves. So the first step is the selection of the mature, well-developed rootstock and pairing them in a concrete tank in a ratio of one male to three females. After 10 days, then we go in for the second step. On the tenth day, a net is used to gather them at one place. The eggs are extracted from the females, which are already incubating eggs in their mouth. During this process, the ones with the eggs in their mouth vomit them out. The eggs are then put in a pan with clean water and then sent to the hatching room. So, you now place the eggs into whichever container you have and you run water 
constantly through the eggs for two to three days. Depending on the temperature, they will hatch. And when they hatch, then you move them to a concrete or a bigger tank where you can then give them homo treatment. And that is our step today. After three days, the eggs will then hatch and transferred to the pond already filled with clean water and feeding starts immediately. United farmers and workers of Africa God will bless you wherever you Various types of feed, depending on the on the species of fish that you are dealing with, the the sizes of the fish that you are dealing with. Basically, the smaller tiny fishes like this will take powdery feed. So when we move them to the concrete tank, we immediately start giving them powdery feed. After they have developed to uh, fingerling size of in about three weeks, then we also increase the, the particle size. And when they grow or develop further, you increase the particle size again to a bigger size. So we, we have a various range of particle sizes from 0 0.2 mm to 6 mm. This is the broodstock feed for the adults. Mostly, when you are coming to feed them, they all concentrate at one point. So, you see, because we came around, they are all floating or coming around to the top of the pond. So, if you put it, you see that the feed is very high. At first we used to sell wood, but we seen that we want to enter into the agri business. So we started with the tilapia. We have some, but today we decided to come and buy from it because we want the correct one. And I heard this place, if we buy from them, it becomes very big and fine. That's why we decided to come here. Yeah. And ever since we start, it's good. And we want to make it very big. That is our mind. A farmer has come to buy fingerlings and we have counted them into polythene bags with water. So normally we inflate the or bubble pure oxygen inside the water and dot the polythene very well so that the, the fish the, the fish will have enough oxygen in them and the water as they are being transported to the new destination. So Pesa Wunye in Sumunamibia, I was a woo fishes in Penny Four. Now I'm to Mobuasi, a chichi mu a chill. Mawunya winim dear. Send a bea, open who can pa, over fast wire, and for how bea em row, and answer Uncle Kum em one. So we in Cosiano, Eddie free, fish no end no more. It was so yashi ye pa, it's a no say no, who be here winning ye, and send what to me I any ye. Fish of Mojo Mayeno. A year nicker, the Sikan soup womb, as all know who shame more. Who bet me a sicker be bree, a dear free more, a bebo, and you will be seen for you now. Wherever you are.